Hey guys, this is Mike from Strutter Hiking. I thought I'd do a quick video review here since I have both. I just got my new Helinox Chair Zero from the UPS man. It might have been the postman. I'm not sure exactly who delivered it. I thought I'd do a review of the REI chair that I've had for a couple years. As you can see, there is a difference in the size of the Helinox in the package and it's supposed to be lighter so we're gonna go ahead and open it up do a quick review here I moved everything inside the garage uh, it's getting kind of windy outside and I wanted you to be able to hear me I didn't show you how to set the chairs up because I figured you guys probably already know how to do that I mean I figured it out so you guys can definitely figure it out first thing I noticed right off the bat is the chairs uh, the healing ox sits about two inches lower give me three inches you can see by the setup right there and then right here I'll give you a little comparison uh basically they're the same setup i know that rei is going to do another setup where the poles more vertical but like i said i mean that's just the setup i bought the healing ox has is well vented for those who like to sweat in their chair the rei has the mesh uh I don't know, like I said, I never had a problem sweating in my chair, so if you're a big sweater, go with the REI chair. Probably be a little bit cooler. I'm going to go ahead and set the camera down, and I'm going to show you uh, the comparisons when I sit down in the chair, which is the most important part. What I'm going to do before I sit in the chair is I'm going to go ahead and weigh it. i got my little scale here, it's uh, set for ounces, and... On the hole, pick it up, and there we go. We are at 25 ounces. Okay, I thought it was a little heavier than that. Let me reset it back to zero. Find a measuring spot and pick it up. Okay, we've got 16 ounces. You know, your scale might be different. This isn't really a scientific research here. So, I don't know. I just got a basic sharper image. It's a, it's a scale. I don't know what they use it for other than I use it for backpacking and weighing things. But I'm going to go ahead and do the, te uh, the, the main important test, which is actually sitting in the chair. Okay, my tripod just basically blew up, so I gotta improvise this. Okay, first chair I'm gonna sit in is the REI chair. Uh, okay, pretty comfortable chair. You know, you slink into the chair, slump down into it, so you balance the weight, uh, stretch your legs out. It's got back support, which is, you know, important after you've been hiking all day. And sit up and do some cooking here. And it said it's a comfortable chair. I paid $29 for it. No, I'm sorry. I paid $79 for it a few years back at REI, but I found the same chair about six months later in Big Five for $29. So I'm sure you can find these chairs online for cheaper. The Helinox I bought with my dividends and my 20% coupon. And I don't know, the chair came out to about 50 bucks. Otherwise, I wouldn't have bought the chair. I'll be honest with you about that. This chair was good enough for my needs, and I was just gonna go ahead and sacrifice the weight. But let's give this chair a go. Okay, yeah. Okay, this chair is pretty comfortable. You do sit lower, you notice a difference in the height, but that's actually better for cooking. You're right here at your food, and you don't have to bend over as much. Again, same, same premise with this chair. You've gotta sit down into the chair, that way you can stretch your legs out. Uh, if you were to just sit up straight, and lean back, you see what's happening. The chair starts to tip, so you've got to slink down into the chair. Uh, overall, this chair is pretty comfortable. I like it. You know, at 10 ounces or nine and a half ounces, a pretty significant uh, weight savings. And I don't really notice much difference in the chairs. I mean, obviously, I think this one you sit up higher. This one you definitely sit lower. They're both the same premise as far as slinking down into the chair, slumping down into the chair. Uh, if weight's not an issue for you, I'd go with this chair. If weight is an issue with you, 
go over this chair. This chair is rated to, to uh, hold 265 pounds. I'm about I'm 6'2", 220 pounds, so I'm not close to pushing that that high end on the chair. Uh, you know, just kind of up to you guys as, as far as comfort and you know as far as your butt size getting into the chair. My butt's kind of big, I guess. I don't know. Maybe I should show you a picture of my. Anyways, uh, I like the chair. Uh, it's definitely, you know, I said weight savings is important to you. Go with the chair. It's very comfortable. It's going to be nice out on the trail. Again, uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you next video.